Hey guys, welcome to Vlogmas Day 8. Today's video is going to be how to tag videos so that you rank higher on YouTube. Obviously I know I've got a smaller channel but I research a lot about trying to grow my channel and these tips I came across and I wanted to share them with you guys so I wrote them down because usually I don't actually write them down but I'm just gonna be going through them and letting you know how you can grow your channel and if you guys are new to this channel don't forget to smash a big thumbs up and subscribe down below because I love every single new subscriber I get because they all mean the world to me and I'm so grateful whenever someone does subscribe and also comment any video ideas or anything like that and let's just get into this video okay now the first tip is use the video title as a tag now that sounds quite obvious because if you're doing a video on that then surely it's going to only be right that you use it as a tag. Well, and obviously that tag would be how to tag videos to rank higher on YouTube, which is most likely the name of this video. But then, related tags, and these, the first few I'm going to say I came across through research and that, and the few that I've found are how to tag YouTube videos, how to rank higher on YouTube, how to tag YouTube, tag YouTube and tagging YouTube. Now those seem pretty simple and quite generalised and they're obviously quite generalised to the name of your video. Now from that I thought of tagging tips, tagging videos, how to gain more views and how to rank on YouTube. But then when I get used vidIQ or vidIQ, I don't know how you say it, which I'm going to mention later on in this video, it comes up with YouTube SEO, how to rank YouTube, video, how to rank YouTube videos, should I say, and video SEO. I don't know what the SEO stands for. I'll, probably, I'll write it up there so you guys know. But, and obviously those are very generalised to that title. And obviously if you sort of think of any more then you could add them and I think, I know it generally says you don't have a limit but I've once tried to add more than 20 tags, like more than 25 tags and it wouldn't let me so, and there weren't long tags either so I feel like there might be a little bit of a limit, like I was stopped at about 20 but you might be allowed a maximum of 30 but it could just be a character limit but YouTube says there isn't a character limit but just bear that in mind tip number two is search your title on YouTube now you might not think of doing this and I only came across this recently and I hadn't thought of doing it but obviously if you search your title on YouTube you see what videos come up and you also see the video titles that come up because their title might be worded differently to what you've searched and so you could use that as a tag which might and if people are searching for their video they might come across yours or it might be in the recommended page if they watch that person's video so for example let's say someone was watching Sunny Lenarduzzi's video you might come up because of your keywords and your keywords are related you might come up in the recommended page and if people see your video they're going to click on it and they're going to watch your video after watching Sunny's so definitely do your research as to what comes up when you search your title and obviously like I said use a tag if it use that uh, video name as a tag if it's different to your own Tip number three is use the keyword tool. A couple of keyword tools I've come across is keywordtool.io, Ubersuggest and Google Keyword Planner. I didn't come across Ubersuggest until this morning and I haven't even checked it out yet but I know obviously it does sound like Uber but I don't know whether they're related in any way, they're probably not but if you use a keyword 
at all. Like, don't type in the whole, like, well, maybe type in the whole of the name of your video, but you might not come up with much. But if you come up with, like, a short, like, let's say you put in how to tag YouTube videos, you might come up with more tags you can use than if you put in your whole YouTube title. So keep that in mind. But it does also mean that it comes up with what people have watching and all that obviously i think with keyword planner don't you have to pay for it so i haven't used that personally i've only used keywordtool.io so far but i have found it quite useful so i would definitely recommend checking it out and i will leave the link in the description box below and also tomorrow i'm going to be doing a tips to hashtagging on youtube so Again, subscribe and turn on those post notifications so you know when I next upload that video. And if you want me to upload any more like YouTube tip videos, then just comment down below as well. Because I'd be happy to do them. The next tip is just brainstorm. Get a piece of paper or whatever and just write down your video idea or your video title. And then write down what you think of when it comes to that video. Obviously it's very similar to use the video title as a tag and finding related but sometimes you might think of a different topic because of that video but as long as it's related then you can use it as a tag. And the reason why you think of a complete you might think of a completely different idea from your video is because that topic has a certain schema and that's in your mind Basically a schema is like a file that like a certain topic is, so birds are in one schema, aeroplanes are in another, they look similar but they're not, that's just related to an example I learned recently. And that's also why you, like one moment you could be thinking about, what was the example we used? That's why you can go from equilibrium to poo to Tinkerbell and I like to point out that is a real example but it's not one I've made and it was like as a class but yeah you can go from equilibrium to poo to Tinkerbell so yeah but everything in your mind has a place and so sometimes you might think of a, different, a topic that's related to your title that someone else might not think of because their schema might be different to yours just thought I'd add in a bit of psychology there. Okay, now the next one is, and the last one, and which is also the last one, is spy on your competitors. I've, I haven't fully used this feature, but apparently on vidIQ you can see what tags that your competitors have used in videos they've done that either have the same or the similar or a similar title, and so if you see what they've done then you can optimize it so you add some of their tags to your video and then you might get seen along or recommended along with their video so I'm definitely gonna try and explore that a bit further but if anyone has done that before and they know how to do it then comment down below but then again this recorded like a month earlier than what you're seeing it so I might have figured out how to do it but if I've not then comment down below anyway okay now that's the end of this video if you guys enjoyed don't forget to smash a big thumbs up don't forget to subscribe down below and also turn on those post notifications so you know when I next upload and comment any video ideas you want me to do for either the rest of vlogmas if I've not filmed all Vlogmas videos or maybe even in the new year and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!